damage was so great and so much flooding in that area that we were cut off and we had no phone communication and no transportation. In this area we rely on gardens and livestock. The livestock is gone and the gardens are gone. So there's a lot of stock of hunger now, but I foresee starvation soon. We Haitians, we have a proverb saying, that for which I'm looking in the sky, I find it on the ground right in front of me. I'm, I'm knocking on my head saying, Lord, where am I going to get aid for my people and for the folks that are in need? They're beginning to be in need. They were in need before the hurricane. The hurricane just completely intensified the need that they have currently. We, we need some very short-term, quick emergency yeah. relief. Yeah. But I pray to God that we'll get to a point where we can you know, put down some long-term solutions for our people with dignity, with love, and, um, and with a possibility for them to, to build themselves up. What you'll get some places, and I've had experience with some other organizations, there's so much red tape. Before, by the time you get to the aid, you might as well not have gotten the aid. But you guys were so quick, you even sought me out to be able to bring the aid to the people that needed the aid immediately. When you called, it was a God sent to us. Uh, so thank you and thank you to the donors that may have made it possible for you to be able to come here. I will personally see to it that they get the assistance that is necessary. That every bit of it, every ounce of it gets to the people that are in need.